Welcome to Bad Food Blog. It's lunchtime. I'm cooking myself something. And I came across these. Look at this. Two vegetarian steak and gravy pies. They don't say vegan on them. Let's see if they're suitable for veganese. No soy, apparently. Apparently now soy is bad. Uh, it doesn't say suitable for vegans. Cook from frozen oven 45 minutes. They're going to be cooking for a while. Wow, that's a long cooking time. I'm only going to cook one of them, of course. Oh, oh proper pies. Okay. I'll put the rest back in the thing. But um, let's look at the uh, low in fat, high in carbohydrates. Fair bit of protein, not bad. Um, not suitable, they're sustainable. Hmm. They look pretty good. They're good till 2023. That's what having no meat in things does. Makes the food last a lot longer. Now, the fact they're going to take 45 minutes to cook means I don't need to put on any chips or anything yet. So, um, the oven's up to the 100 and 80 degrees centigrade that it required, so I'm going to pop it in the oven now, and we'll see what it's like uh, when it's done. Well, there's been a bit of a pie explosion there. I've cooked at the requisite 45 minutes, but there's been a bit of a, a bit of a weird one there. Let's get this out and have a look at it. Yeah, probably my cooking rather than the pie. So let's get a plate and a knife and a fork and see what we've got in terms of pie dumb. I should be able to lift this out with the knife and the fork and... Nope. Yeah, there we go. Stuck a little bit because of the escaping stuff. Right. Initial thoughts on the pie. Let's zoom in a little. Initial thoughts are, the colour is good. The texture seems fine. The weight is good. It is separated a little, but it was a completely uncooked pie. This isn't like a pucker pie, which had a little bit of cooking. This is all fresh and smells wonderful. Now, pucker pies are good, but you're heating a pucker by, it's already cooked. Right, this one was completely frozen and raw, so, wow, the colors are amazing. The smell is really like beef, it's making my stomach growl with hunger. Mmm. 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 That pastry is pretty good. A bit undersalted, but nice. Mmm. Got a big chunk of the meat here. Let's see what this does. Mmm. Doesn't taste too bad. I'm pretty sure. Oh wow, look at look at the amount. That's pretty impressive. There's a good number of chunks of this corn meat in here, and it does have the texture and flavor of meat. This is one of a few, you know, this is, corn do some really good stuff for this. Mmm. I'm impressed, 45 minutes is a long cooking time, even for a frozen pie, but this tastes great. I would really suggest buying these again. Mm. Mm. Yeah, so we may switch over to these. Mm.
Mmm. This is a really nice pie, regardless of what type of meat it's made with. It's not overly salty. <clears throat> it's got a really good flavour to it. And whenever the uh, meat substitute, it has a much more pleasing texture than 90% of the stuff out there. I think corn do a much better job than most other people of making meat-free meat substitutes that really will hit the craving you've got for this type of food. And, you know, you've got the body and the gravy that just really do place it all off. Mmm. Mmm. Now, <clears throat> this is not a vegetarian, oh, I don't eat meat because it's killing animals. I, I don't really care if cows die. I mean, but as an environmental thing, there's an advantage to it. And for a dietary thing, there's an advantage to it. So that's why I eat this kind of stuff at the moment. And it's also why I'm trying all these different foods because traditionally these would have been bad foods. Vegetarian alternatives used to be the worst things you could do. I've been pleasantly surprised recently by a lot of these being on par with their meat alternatives. And a lot of the meat alternatives sometimes are lower quality because they're just relying on the fact that people will just always buy that food. Kind of weird, huh? Anyway, thanks for watching. Please like and share the video. And uh, if you're not a member already, please consider subscribing. Yay!